organic and inorganic fertilizers. Organic fertilizers are those that are made by making use of the substances that occur naturally. There are three main sources of organic fertilizer. Animal-based fertilizers, coming either as slaughter byproducts, such as blood and bone meals, or livestock manures. Plant-based fertilizers, such as alfalfa and soybean meals, and mineral fertilizers, such as powdered limestone and rock phosphate. All can supplement the soil with the micronutrients plants need in large amounts, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Organic fertilizers are not immediately available to plants. Before the plants can use them, they must be broken down by soil microorganisms into simpler inorganic molecules and anions. According to North Carolina State University, the organic matter in these natural fertilizers not only improves the soil structure, creating more air space and water retention within the soil, it is also gentler on microorganisms and earthworms living in the soil, creating a healthy ecosystem that is sustainable and conducive to long-term use. Besides, a higher proportion of organic material in the soil will also reduce soil crusting and erosion due to wind and rain. However, organic fertilizers have a few disadvantages. Firstly, they are harder to apply. The release of nutrients from organic fertilizers can be dependent on both ambient temperatures and the presence of microorganisms in the soil. Secondly, because the process of decomposing is slow, plants don't receive nutrients from an organic fertilizer right away and will remain nutrient deficient for a while after the first application, which eliminates the possibility of using this type of fertilizer for an emergency. In addition, the amount of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in organic fertilizers varies and can contain low amounts of all three. Therefore, plants may need large amounts of fertilizer applied to get enough nutrients. Finally, incomplete composting can leave in the organic matter certain pathogens that can enter the water system or the food crops, causing human health and environmental problems. Inorganic fertilizers, on the other hand, are manufactured from minerals or synthetic chemicals. They are usually given as rescue treatment to plants that are malnourished or even dying. Unlike the organic variety, inorganic fertilizer does not need to decompose over time to provide the nutrients needed by the plants. Besides, inorganic fertilizers are designed to give plants all the nutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, that they need in appropriate proportions and amounts. Hence, plants do not get more of one nutrient over the other. Instead, it has a balance of all the nutrients it needs and are readily available at a given time. Inorganic fertilizers have three main disadvantages. Most inorganic fertilizers are water soluble or become active when water is added to the soil. This has the advantage of making their nutrients rapidly available to plants. However, it also means that they are prone to leaching, in which the water would carry the nutrients down through the soil. As a result, the fertilizers may be moved down below the plant root level, meaning some of their nutrient capacity is wasted. It also has the potential of taking inorganic fertilizers into groundwater supplies used for irrigation and livestock. Another disadvantage is that besides the essential nutrients required by plants, they contain certain compounds and salts which a plant is unable to absorb and hence are left behind in the soil to build up over time. When found in large amounts in the soil, these compounds can alter the chemistry of the soil that makes it less ideal for future plantations. Furthermore, these toxic compounds 
can also get washed away and contaminate the water we use. Lastly, overuse of inorganic fertilizers can burn or destroy the plant structures, including the roots, which can hamper the plant's overall development. A blend of both organic and inorganic fertilizers may suit your landscape most of the time. A study published in 2009 described the benefits of an integrated system on rice fields in India. The authors found that a combination of organic and synthetic fertilizers resulted in yields that increased over five years, and, hence, concluded that an integrated approach improved the capacity of the soil to supply nutrients.